So, how are we today? Before we start, let's have a short chit chat. How are we today? Anyone wants to share with me very eagerly about how excited you are about the holidays that are upcoming? Anybody wants to share with me? Yes, I know Dash, you want to speak. Okay, come, let's have you speak. <laughs> yes. So, I'm just kind of uh, very excited. Uh-huh. Uh, and because during the holidays, since yes. my... Um, so then, uh, both my parents are working, but my father like knows programming, so he'll basically teach me like programming. Somehow okay. I can make a game, like out wow. of animation and programming, make wow. my own game. Okay, okay. So, um, is your dad an engineer or anything like that? He's basically like, uh, he his um for his office work. Before he started his office work, he had to learn about programming. All the Languages, programming languages. Okay, I see, I see. Okay. So, program, so yeah. programming languages is basically like a thing you type and then it's, it's a software engineering. For example, you uh, like you want to tell a you want to tell an instruction to the computer. You must type it in some way. You have to run it, then you will do it. Something. Ah, okay, very good. Okay, so thank you, Darsh. Okay, you mute yourself. Okay, so immediately when you are done talking, right? Can okay, done speaking? Can you just mute yourselves? Okay. So, anybody else wants to share with me what your plans for the holidays are? Me. Just next week. Me, Judy. Uh, wait, hang on. Uh, okay, your name's not Judy, right? You want to change your name, Judy? Uh, I don't know how to. I, I'll do it for you. What's your name, dear? Caleb. C-A-L-E-B. Okay. Yeah. Wait, wait, hang on. Uh, let me change it for you. One second. C-A-L-E-B. Correct spelling, right? Okay. Okay, very good. You want to share with us how... Or what your plans for the holiday are? I plan on making a Lego robot with oh. a, a lot of pieces with a Bluetooth connection device, so you can, can so you can move it with your phone. Wow. Okay. How many of you are, are Lego fans? Raise your hand if you are. Okay. <laughs> a few of you. All right. Okay. Okay. And- I have like almost more than one million pieces in my home. Wow. Okay, so so I bought I, I'm not sure if you you know of this um particular Lego toy. Okay, so there's this Lego toy in the shape of a bottle. Right? It's a transparent bottle. And then I think there's a, like a ship or something inside. And it's not it, it doesn't have very many pieces, lah, maybe about five hundred or something like that. So it was so lazy. <laughs> During home based learning period, I asked my student to help me do it for me. And you know what? I was thinking, you know, I'll take like one week, two weeks to do it. He finished it in like two hours. I felt wow. so terrible. <laughs> He's a sad one kid, huh? I was like, oh my goodness, embarrassing much. <laughs> of wow, course I did that's, not. that's impressive. I have to that say. is very impressive. So I think it goes to show that if you're interested in doing something and, you know, you really want to put your mind to it, you know, you can. So he was actually very bored, basically. I think all of you are, right? Home-based learning is tiring on the eyes, right? You're just stuck at home, can't do anything, can't go oh, out on the cycle, so cannot go any cannot even go to oh, the you playground. Can cycle, you can cycle. Sorry? You can cycle. I you can but alone. So yeah. isn't isn't that a bit meh? You know usually you cycle to compete with your friends, right? Okay, that's what I did. <laughs> but my 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 dream is to become a professional bicycle racer. Wow, mm. a professional cyclist. That's impressive. I hope you get there somewhere. And when you get there, please remember all of us at ADHD Fusion, okay? Yeah, I will. I will. And that's why I mostly every day I cycle. I cycle. I try to find time to cycle. Okay, that's very good. Okay, remember students that during this period of time, it's also very good to make sure that you know we keep ourselves healthy as much as possible. Okay, just go out for short walks, breathe a bit of the natural air. Okay, that's very important. Okay, now shall we start with today's lesson? Thank you for the chat. It was very nice to hear from all of you. Okay, okay, well, not all, some of you, but if you would like to speak and you're feeling a bit shy, right, just drop a text in the, the chat. Yes, I can remember every student I teach, my dear, especially the upper primary and secondary as well. So I'm looking at the chat now, okay? So if I look on my, which is on your right, my chat box is there because I'm trying to pay attention to what you're saying as well. Okay, so if you want to call out to me or you want to, me, you want to say something and you're shy, just say it in the, in the chat box. Okay, so let's move on with today's lesson first, okay? Whee! Hi! Welcome. Okay, happy as I greeted some of you just now. Happy Labourless Day. Now it's all labourless, right? Because we're all not doing work. It's all home-based learning. What learning? Oops. Okay. <laughs> Alright, now, today, as I'm sure many of you have actually seen on your 
for the pre-class notes that we've have, we have we put up, right? You'll be, we'll be doing grammar, vocab, synthesis, and composition. So actually, I think the lesson will be very short. Okay, so if you don't want the lesson to be very short, you know what to do, right? Chit chat with me. Okay, so um, how I'll do it is very simple. I would actually allocate one student, okay, to a question. All right? And uh, I'll allocate it before we go through it. So later when I call out your name or when you see that it's that question number that you're supposed to do, then you read the question with the answer. Is that okay? Now, uh, can I get some volunteers? So we have 10 questions, right, for grammar and vocab, five each. Okay, can I get some volunteers who want to share me your answers? Okay, I saw Jordan put up his hand. So the first question would be Jordan, okay? Second question, anyone else? Colin, very good. Third question, anyone wants to volunteer? Celeste, very good. Please pardon me if I don't happen to see, okay? Okay, once you put up a hand, can you just put down already? That means you've already gotten a question. So, that way you don't have to, as in, I don't have to be confused. Okay, HQ will be next question. If you want to change your name, please let me know. Huh? Okay. And then, uh, last, last year. Okay. Wait, uh, hang on, hang on. Yeah. Let me write down names. Okay, so this is all for grammar. Okay, we have another five for, oops. We have another five for vocab, right? Okay, uh, Ishan. All right. Okay, Darsh, I know you've been wanting to do it. Wait, hang on. Uh, let me write your name down. Okay, uh, once, you put, once I've allocated you a question, can you please put down? Okay, Caleb, we've got three more. Don't worry, we still have synthesis and we still have the composition planning that I want to go through with you, okay? Caleb, and we have Juby, right? Okay, one more student. Anybody else wants to try? Don't worry, I will go through it again with you, okay? So Jordan, I've given you a question once you that, so don't need to raise your hand. Can you put down? Anybody else? Wait, uh, let me go and check. Oh, wow. Um, Pari. Okay, last question. Pari. Okay, so I'm going back, okay, to revise with you the questions. Please, as in, please take note of which questions you're doing, okay? So Pari will be question five for vocabulary. Okay, Juby, question four. Caleb, question three, vocab, ah, take note, okay? Question two, be Dash. Question one, Yushan. Okay, grammar, last year will be question five. HQ question four. Celis question three. Okay, Celis, put down your hand there. Okay, and then um, Colin question two, and Jordan question one. Okay, so can I give you just five seconds? Revise through the answers that you've got. Okay, look at your 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 worksheet. All right, and when we are ready, come Jordan. Let's begin. When we, I call your name. Please unmute yourself, read out question, and read out the answer as well. Okay, are we ready? Okay, Jordan. C was. Okay, you want to read out the entire sentence first, yeah? Yesterday. Yesterday, Lily Blank, very happy as mother made her a surprise breakfast in bed. It is worse because that is the word yesterday, so it is past tense. Very good. And why is it... Uh, Singular, this is singular past tense, right? Why is it singular past tense? Because? Because Millie is singular. Very good. Okay, students, thank you so much, Jordan. Okay, students, this is how I want you to answer, okay? Read out the sentence for me. Fill it up with a blank. Tell me the answer. And if you can, don't, please don't say I guessed it, okay? Give me a reason for your answer, okay? When you give me a reason, it means that you are understanding why you picked the answer. And also, it will help the other students if they make a mistake. Okay, now, thank you so much. So the answer for this will be C, singular was, right? Now, Colin, are we ready for the second question? We are going to have a class excursion next week. Mm -hmm. would, you, would you be able to come with us? Okay, thank you so much. Molly. Okay, why do you say it's would? Um... Because, okay, don't worry if you don't know. We go through elimination, okay? Elimination, one of the techniques, right? Does it make sense if we say, may you be able to come? May you is a bit weird, right? Usually, uh, Colin, you can unmute yourself. Don't, I'm talking to you, Sirat. So you can unmute yourself, don't worry. Okay, so may you, does it sound right, correct? No. No, it sounds a bit awkward. Usually, it's may I, right? Okay? Then, must you, it's a bit 
it doesn't make sense, right? Must you be able to come with us? Okay, if you want to ask for something, it should actually be either could you or would you or it, and it's definitely not should you because why does it, do you think it's right? Should you be able to come with us? You, you can, no. no, right? It just it sounds wrong. So it's actually, would you be able to come with us? It's actually, okay, so students, what is the difference between will and would? Okay, you see, whenever we say will, it's also, we can also use will, especially since it's going to be something in the future, next week, right? But why do we say would? It's because would is a bit more polite compared to will. Okay, it's actually a grammar rule that when we use that past model, all these are what we call models, right? Okay, when we use a past models, it is more polite, more respectful, that's why. Okay, Perry, you want to share with me something? Yes, dear. Perry? I actually, um, I actually pressed. Oh, accidentally, is it? Okay, no worries. Okay, no worries, no worries. Okay, come, let's move on to the next question. Celise? Now, Celise, where you are? Okay, can we unmute yourself and let's go. Billy and his brother cooked lunch by themselves as their mother was unwell. Very mm -hmm. good. Okay, so can you share with me, dear? Don't, don't mute yourself, us. Huh? Okay, can you share with me why do you think it's themselves? I can hear someone whispering the answer. <laughs> Sorry, carry on. Because Billy and his brother are two people. Correct. So they're actually referring to them as third, third parties, right? Okay, so it is more than one. Definitely not myself. Definitely not himself, right? And it's not ourselves because what? If it's ourselves, you have I or we inside. Yes or no? Okay, so if it's third party, that's why it is themselves. Okay, now, fourth one, HQ, where are you, dear? HQ? Mom, I need to The children were jumping over water puddles when the bell rang. Very good. You want to share with me why is it were, were jumping? Because the children mm -hmm. are like me and the Plural. water puddle is also poor. Okay. And the rank is past tense. Very good. Okay. So our focus of the question, thank you, HQ. Okay. So our focus of the question, right, is actually what the subject will be the children, which is plural. Right? So if it's plural, then we know that it is actually were. Okay. It's either were or are basically, right? But how do we know it's were? It's because what the bell rang, which refers to the something that happened in the past. Okay, students, so it's actually D, we're jumping. Can any questions so far? If you can follow me, all thumbs up, please. I want to see the thumbs up. Yay, I should screenshot this picture. I love it. It's like everybody has a thumbs up. <laughs> if only PSLE can have a thumbs up kind of grading system, I think we'll all be very happy, right? <laughs> okay, come, last question for grammar. Now, last year, you want to share with us your answer, dear? The pupils were reminded to walk carefully along the pavement as they make their way to school. Thank you, dear. Okay, so pavement basically, okay, so let's say, um, okay, my drawing is not very good, okay, but so this is the road, okay? And then pavement maybe, you know, sometimes by the side we have walkways, right, that we can actually um, walk on. Okay, so pavement is actually the strip of the walkway that we have, which is sometimes elevated. Actually, most times it's elevated purely for safety reasons, right? So whenever we have a long road, okay, so to speak, this is considered a long and a straight road. We would call it what? Walk along something. Okay, can we mute ourselves, please? Okay, so walk along something. All right, so walk along the road, walk along the beach. Why? Because it is one long kind of straight road. Okay, what against means what? So, for example, if the car is traveling like that, okay, my car is not very car ish. Okay, so the car is traveling like that. If you say travel against means you're going against traffic, you're going the other way. So, it's not correct. Okay, oops, sorry. Okay, and you cannot say walk carefully in the pavement. How do you walk in the pavement? You can't exactly go into the pavement, correct? Right Firstly, it's for the end. Secondly, you're too big. So, no, okay, and you cannot say walk carefully at the pavement. You don't walk at, at something, you walk at a certain pace, right? But you don't walk. At a, a pavement, it doesn't make sense that way. Okay, so that's so it's actually walk along the pavement. 
Okay, my beautiful drawing will be up, it will be uploaded later. Very beautiful. Oh no. <laughs> okay, now these are the answers. Okay, for those of you who you know tried out the questions, don't worry, all this will be up later. Okay, now we'll go through the vocabulary. Okay, now can I get Yushen? Yushen, where are you, sweetie? Okay, can we get ready to read this out for us? The the tap is missing. We must call for the plumber to fix. Okay, thank you. What what is the clue that tells us that it's the tap? A plumber. Very good. Plumber is someone who fixes what? Uh, pipes. Very good. Pipes or water sewage or anything to do with um, like even in a toilet bowl, right? It's also the plumber because anything to do with water, water connections, right? So it is tap. Okay, not pillar. Pillar is the thing that what holds your house, right? Okay, so let me try to draw again. Okay, so the, let's say your house is double story, right? Then you need one, one usually there'll be a few major pillars within the house uh, to hold it in place. You know, the long thing that, that provides the concrete structure to support, basically. Okay, it's for supporting, basically. Okay, cabinet, of course, we know it's like a cupboard, right? Okay, and window is the windows of my heart. No, actually, it's not. But it's basically a... Uh, what you can see through a window to look outside, right? Okay? Yeah. Now, thank you, dear. Okay, now, uh, once we're done, shall we move ourselves? Okay, now, Dash. So, James was, mm -hmm. James was kicking a ball in, in the living room when he broke Grandpa's favorite boss. He's all, he's all yours now. I, he's, I mean, he's in a hot water house. No. Okay, why do we know that it's in hot water? Because you saw my clues, yeah. right? <laughs> okay, so, so what kind of question is this? This is basically like an idiom or proverb kind of question, okay? Mm -hmm. and, and, uh, and, um, and how do we, how are we expected to remember all these? Because there are so many, if you have bought the student's guidebook, okay, basically whenever I look at idioms, right, I'll look at that Casco green colour book, you know, the student's reference vocabulary book. So many, okay? Even I cannot memorize anything. So how do we actually remember? It's through practice, all these things will just come to our memory. Okay, and why I like these phrases is because we can also use them for compositions, right? We don't just use one word, two words for composition. Very boring, correct? Right? Okay, so when we have all these words or all these phrases, rather, right, it helps to make our, uh, our compositions a bit more interesting. Okay, now, Matthias, um, is it Matthias? Do you want to share? Wait, sorry, Dash. Yes, really? Uh, could I add something uh, for question one? For question one, yeah, sure. Wait, one second, I'm a Hang on, ah. let me go back to question one first. Ah. Okay, yes, dear. So, actually, we can get another clue is that, uh, like, em elimination. So, you see the word leaking. Uh -huh. Now, what, like, where does water come from? Water doesn't come from window. I mean, a pillow. Neither a cabinet, neither a window. It only comes from a tap. Very good. You have brought up a very good point. Okay, so we also have the word leaking. Thank you for that, Darsh. Okay, the rest of you, okay? Okay, so this is actually a clue where we can actually get the answer from. Thank you, sweetie. Okay, now, uh, just now, Matthias, I think you wanted to say something, right? Yes, dear. Uh, do you mean the question three, which one I need to try? The now is yeah. all... Wait, 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 slow down, slow down. I haven't explained to you. Yours is, uh, no, yours is not yet. Maybe later for okay. synthesis, okay? Later, okay? okay? Wait, let me, thank you, CD. Okay, so let me go through Dasha's one first, okay? So he is what? All years means you're willing to listen to somebody. So for example, um, mother is all years whenever I need to complain to her about school. So she's always very willing to listen. Okay, when you want to say that someone is in trouble, is in hot soup, right? Just as how James kicked the ball, he broke grandpa's favorite bus. How not to be in hot soup? Cannot be cold soup, right? Okay, so he's in hot water in this case. Hot water, hot soup is actually the same thing. Okay, he's in trouble now. Okay, apple of his eye, basically what? Whenever you say someone is someone's apple of the eye, basically his spray, but so um, you can say, for example, uh, Darsh is his form teacher's Apple of the eye, something like that. So he's that's his. I mean, he is his from teacher's favorite student. Okay, and turning over a new leaf actually, of course, we all know that it means changing for the better. So in this case, because he had done something wrong, so in hot water. Okay, students. Now we go on to the next question, Mr. Lim. Our science teacher took the students to the science laboratory, right, where we conduct. Hey, why am I doing it, huh? Kayla, I'm sorry. <laughs> Can you read it to us? I'm sorry, dear. <laughs> I'm sorry. Mr. Lim, our science teacher, took the students to the science laboratory to conduct an experiment. Okay, thank you. How do you know it's experiment? 
because that's almost literally the o- the only thing you can mm-hmm. do in the laboratory. Correct. Mm-hmm. That's the only thing you can do in a science laboratory. You can't have competition. I mean, you can, but it's a bit weird with competitions in a science laboratory. Like, what competition would you have? Probably a science one. Like, who can, who can fill up the? I don't know. Who can complete the experiment faster? But even then, it's a science competition, right? It's not like a. It it doesn't quite make sense if you ask me, that. Right, and you can definitely not have a performance, right? Because performance is usually in the hall, concert hall, right? Yes. Announcement is not, you don't conduct an announcement in the science lab and only the science students will be over here. So what kind of announcement is that? Correct not. Okay, so the answer should be, you're right, Kayla, experiment. Actually, we can also uh, make like a competition, like who makes the best design, something like that. Like, That's true, but you don't usually have it in the science lab, right? Usually when we go to the science lab, it's for science lessons only. But I mean, based on my experience, I never went to the science lab or brought my students. I never, I don't teach science, but yeah, or brought my students to the science lab for competitions. They'll be like, Miss Indra, what are we doing here? <laughs> Correct. So it doesn't quite make sense. You know, when I grow up, I will be Mr. Lim, you know. Who is Mr. Lim? Me. Because, uh, because, uh, my Mr. Lim name is Lim, is it? Lim. <laughs> okay, thank you, Caleb. So this is a very yeah. suitable question for you, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> And I do like science, actually. I do like science. Okay, okay. That's very good to hear. Thank you. Yeah. Same. Uh, yes, who's calling me? Who is Miss Indra? Miss Indra? Miss Indra? I cannot hear anything. Me. Who is the me? Ishana? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yes, dear. Um, another clue is to conduct. Because, like, the Mr. Mr. Lin can also, like, um, say an announcement. But you can't conduct an announcement. That's true. The verb that we use, right, over here. So, basically, whenever we... They, um, whenever we want to do a, an experiment, the verb that we use is actually conduct an experiment. And remember, students, it's always an experiment. Why? Because A-E-I-O-U. Right? It's a vowel. Okay? Now, the water... Oh, yo, I keep wanting to read. Okay, Juby. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, come, Juby. Let's go. The, wa- the water in the pond is so dark and and murky that we could not see through it even in bright daylight okay so dark and murky right okay how do we okay this is quite obvious because i've already put the answer there right okay, so murky is when we describe water that's not clear you know sometimes now especially now okay so students go to the newspapers today if you have right so there's this article on the front page of home okay remember it's home section not street times okay if i had it i will show it. okay never mind um, yeah, so basically what happens is that You know all the swimming pools in our our estate Our public pools, you know Our condominiums are all being shut right Because of COVID, correct? So what happens is that the chlorine Okay, and the treatment that usually goes on For all these pools, right Have not been, have not been treated obviously Because nobody's been using it So all the support system is all I mean, they've stopped it, right? So what happens is from blue Which is the rightful colour of chlorine It has become green Thankfully, not murky yet, okay? But it might become that if for all the rain, you know, recently it's been raining quite heavily, right? And then if all the LJ grow and everything, it's going to become murky and it's not going to look very pretty, which is why I can't wait for COVID to be over. Who is with me? Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes, I know, right? Okay. Okay, so you get the meaning of murky, right? Okay, so murky means basically very muddy, not clear. Okay, obviously it's not cooling because we're talking about water. We're comparing it in a dark light. <laughs> Sorry, sweetie. Can we all please mute because it's a bit distracting and, and I can hear a lot of feedback. So it, for me, it's a bit noisy. Okay? okay. Thank you. Okay, now, gloomy is very, very sad. Usually when we say gloomy is gloomy weather. You know, if it rains, it's been raining so often. You know, so last night, I don't know about your side, but so in the papers today, there was this article in, I think, Haugang. I'm not sure if any of you live near there. There's a flood. Because the rain was really, really very heavy, right? Same. I mean, there wasn't a flood where I, I live, but it was bad enough because it's just pouring and pouring. Oh, you feel like yeah. you're sleeping, right? Oh my goodness, this is not good. <laughs> Stay at home, it's okay. Stay in bed, it's a different story, right? So, yeah, it, it was quite heavy yesterday. And sparkling, of course, we cannot say the water is sparkling. I mean, you only drink sparkling. Water. Yes, 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 yes. Someone's calling me, yes. I, I actually thought the answer for number four was gloomy, eh? Wait, hang on. The water in the pond is so dark and gloomy. Okay, usually we don't use gloomy to describe water. Okay, gloomy is always used to describe weather simply because it is a mood thing. So the fact that if the, the weather is gloomy, it affects your mood, right? It makes you feel like a bit down, right? Not water. We cannot describe water with gloom. Is that okay? 
Okay. And so in this case, it's dark and murky. And when we have sparkling, his students remember we have sparkling water. There is such a thing, uh, but we drink this sparkling water. We don't use it in the pond. No way. It's too expensive. Okay, so sparkling water, usually if you go to a, a, a more expensive restaurant, right, they will ask, so would you like still or sparkling water? Right? Still is usually bottling. Okay, sweetie, I, I keep hearing things. Can we all turn off our mics? Thank you. Okay, so still or sparkling water, right? In this case, sparkling is, but it's not the answer. Okay, that will only be for the case of if you're in a restaurant. Okay, good job, people. Now, question five, Perry, let's go. The carpet is so clean and Mrs. Lee has blank the breadcrumbs from it. So the answer would be? Vacuum. Okay, thank you. Okay, so what makes you think that it's vacuum? It is now clean and mm -hmm. crumbs for it. Okay, so thank you. You know, in, in this case, right, it wouldn't be Mrs. Lee. Uh, it would be my mother. <laughs> Right, because well, obviously she does the house, so oops. Okay, anyway, <laughs> okay, you can't erase the breadcrumbs, right? Basically, breadcrumbs are very small, so we only erase by our handwriting, right? Okay, we cannot say grab, can't be grabbing because there's so many breadcrumbs, right? And disinfect usually we disinfect germs, correct? So nowadays, everybody is practicing a lot of disinfecting because of COVID and everything, right? I tell you, the, the name COVID just runs shutters down my back, you know, it's like, Ugh. right? I mean, you keep hearing it so often, never have I heard it so often. So, students, when we had SARS, I'm sure you've also heard of SARS, right? Okay, so when you had SARS, I think, were you all even born? I don't think so, right? You're 10 or 9 or 10. So, SARS happened in 2003. I haven't right? heard of SARS. Have you, have you ever heard about SARS? How many of you have heard about SARS? Raise your hand. Yeah, it's, it's almost like a COVID too, right? So, SARS, I remember SARS happened when I was in tech too. Yes, I'm very old. So, I lived through SARS and I remember my school was shut for two weeks. I was so happy, you know. But then after that, because it was during exam period, I remember it was exactly this period of time, like April, May kind of thing. And, and we shut schools, you know, but it was never, never as serious as this. This is just crazy because by July, actually, we barely had, we had very, very, I don't think, if I remember correctly, I don't think we had any deaths. I may, may be wrong, but... Yeah, I don't think we had any deaths. Worldwide, only like 80-something deaths. Only. Very, very few. Now, how many thousands? You know, it is, it is a different scale altogether. So, this is... Worldwide, there is 3 million deaths. For COVID? Really? Yes. That's uh, 3 million deaths or 3 million cases? Because I can't remember the deaths are so many. 3 million deaths. For US, there is 1 million confirmed cases. More wow, than that is pretty, pretty, that's pretty a huge number, right? Yeah, yeah so this, this COVID is just, it's just killing all of us. I mean, I have never experienced in my entire life and I'm quite old, right? Um, such a long period of school break, right? Basically, home-based learning, as we all know, even though we are learning at school, I mean, we are learning at home, sorry. It's basically a break, right? So it's actually about two months off students. It's a long, long time. My friend's so, neighbor yes. had COVID. Oh, really? But has she recovered? Huh? No, my she... friend's neighbor. Oh, your friend's neighbor had COVID. So ha has your na has her neighbor recovered? It's actually like oh. not really a friend. It's like classmate. Ah, okay. I don't oh. know. Like he only I think... said that mm. he only said that uh his neighbor had COVID. Wow. Okay. Because I think thank you, dear. I think as of today, there was just a count that I think the latest lady who passed, there was a 58-year-old woman, right? It's getting younger, our students. It's a bit worrying. Uh. So, just be careful, you know, um, tell your grandparents, tell your parents to stay at home and be safe. Okay? Be actually, uh, actually, in London, only a two, uh, uh, only a five-hour-old baby had got the COVID. The five-year-old? Last time, I think the Our first old. Our old. Five-hour-old. Five-hour? Oh, Wow. How did that happen? That means what? Not clean as in the virus was spread through what? The, 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 there was lack of sanitation? I mean, I, that's quite surprising, right? Because the, usually the, when, yeah. The mother got COVID. That's why the baby got COVID. Oh, I see. Okay, thank you, Colleen. Okay, okay. I need to check out on that. I, that one, I never know. In the US, they have one case, a pregnant lady. She, she tested positive for the COVID but gave birth to twins. Wow. And then, but, but then the, the twins tested negative, but the mom tested positive and died. Oh, she died. So, yeah. oh my goodness, poor thing. That means the father must be coping with twins with no wife. It's going to be tough, huh, actually, right? Okay, if so then... If I'm yeah. not wrong, I think the father also got infected. 
Oh no, okay. So I need to check out on the baby in London and I need to check out on these twins. Okay, I'll go and read out on it. Thank you for sharing me the information. It's very interesting. Okay, so shall we move on? Okay, then we can have a short break later and then we can come and chit chat again, okay? Now, we finish with our... Okay, so the answer for this is vacuum. Huh? Thank you, Perry. Okay. Now, these are the answers, okay? We'll go on to synthesis first, okay? Students, can put out your hands first, okay? Later, we'll get another five students to share with me your answers. And then we can go for a short break. And then during the break, if you want to chit chat me, we can chit chat. Okay? Now, can I allocate students to try for me these questions, please? Who wants to volunteer? Those students who have already tried just now, right? Can we please give the rest of us a chance? Okay? Come. Let's put it on our hands for those who... Okay, Pranshu. Okay, who else wants to try? Can you just put up your hands so I can see? Okay, wait. For those of us who have already tried, I will give the rest a chance first, okay? Um, let me see. Uh. It's, uh, you already, you're you already showing the answers. Oops. Thanks. Yeah, I know. Sorry. <laughs> Cause, okay, so how I structured it was question, then answer, question, then answer. So I need to remember to skip. Thank you for, for that, okay? So, yes, I know Matthias wants to try this, okay? So I need to remember skip, skip, okay? <laughs> It's like a game for me also, you know. Okay, anybody else wants to try? Okay, Shani, since you so nicely spoke to me just now, you, you try for me this, okay? Okay, wait, wait, wait. I need to pay attention. This is skip, skip. Okay, Joshua? Okay, anyone else wants to try? Okay, um... Let me think. Uh, okay. Perry. Actually, for the previous question, we can have another way of answering it. As you can see, the answer is quite long. Right? Anybody else wants to volunteer for this question? This can be an alternative answer actually, for this question. Anybody else wants to try? Oh, yeah. Teacher, how we really try? Correct. But because there's nobody else who, as in there's nobody, I can't see anybody else's hand, you see. The rest me. have actually, who is me? Dash, you've already tried. Okay, Ishan, Ishan, Ishan. Who is the me? Oh, Brennan, you want? Okay, so students, don't... Okay, shh. Okay, all of you put your hands, please. Don't worry, later we still have the composition planning that I want to get your ideas. Okay, so we will have plenty of opportunity. I know all of you are wanting to talk, talk, talk. Okay, so later, don't worry, I'll remember Robin, I'll remember Brennan. Oh my gosh, I got so many things to remember. I still got to remember the five-hour-old baby in London. I still got to remember the America, what, the mother who died with two twins. Oh, yo. My life. <laughs> okay, come, are we ready to go through the answers now for question one? Okay, Pranshu, are we ready? Yes. Okay, both let's go. Both Tim and Ali were at the canteen. Okay, so it said both Tim and, and Ali, Ali were at the talk? canteen. Were, is it? Oopsie, sorry. Yeah. Okay, oops. Were at the canteen. Okay, can you please tell me why is it were? Because it's Tim and Ali. Tim and Ali are two plural. Okay, two people. So, so that's plural, why... Right? Okay, why is it were and not are? If it was are, uh, that means Tim, like, example, it can be Tim and... His mother are at the canteen. But here, we are talking about Tim and Ali on, and not Tim and his mother. Okay, good try. Okay, but basically, why is it were students? Because you realize that what the two verbs over here is verbs. Yeah. If it was to be are, uh, then it should be Tim is at the canteen. Ali is also there. So, t both Tim and Ali are at the canteen. Okay, but you realize that because the original verb was was, which is in the past tense, that's why we translate it to the plural form of Intro. Yes, yeah. There's also another way of uh, answering it. Mm. Both Ali and Kim were at the canteen. Correct. You can switch the names around. <laughs> That's correct. That's correct. Okay. So for my answers, right, later I will edit before I put it up. Okay. But basically, I follow in order. Okay. But you please feel free to go Ali and Tim. That's also okay. Okay. Changing of position of names are acceptable, of course. Okay. Now. Wait, uh, let me go. Okay, so Matthias? Yes, but my name is not Matash. It's Matesh Saga. You say it the wrong time. Sorry. So it's Matesh, is it? Matesh and Saga. Because so, you changed my name. Okay. 
okay. Yes. So, uh, is there a short form? Short form is Matesh. Matesh, can I call you that? Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, Matesh. It's, a, it's easier to call than Matesh Sagar, right? So, I mean, it's short form lah, okay? Because we are, we, are, we, are, we are well like that, right? Okay. <laughs> okay, come, let's go. You want to answer it for me? Yes. Okay. Uh, it rained today as well as it rained yesterday. Okay. That's one way of looking at it. Hang on, let me write it down. Huh? It rained. It, it, uh, do you have an ED there? What is ED? As in, is it past tense version? I don't understand. No, as in, do I add an ED or no ED? No. Uh, ED. ED, it rained today as well as it rained yesterday. Anyone else has a I different answer? I got another answer? one. Okay, students, come. What's your other answer? I got another one. Okay, Brennan, what's your answer? Okay, wait, one at a time, please. Okay, Brennan? It rained today as well as yesterday. Okay, so someone just says it's just yesterday. Anybody else has a different answer? Me. Me. Okay, sh- prasha- uh, Pranshu? It rained yesterday as well as today. Okay, you can also say it rained yesterday as well as today. Okay, so this is option one. This is option one, right? This is option two. This is option two. Even today as well as option three. Okay, so this is actually one but three, lah, right? You can say three, three. Okay. Anyone else has a different answer? Okay, based on what you've said, okay, let me tell you the correct answer. I'm going to write the correct answer in yes. three. Okay, so it rained. You can say either it rained today or yesterday. Okay, as well as yesterday or today. Okay, so basically what I'm saying is that you do not need to say that it rained again. Why? Because you realize that this and this is repeated. So do we have to repeat the subject and the the verb again? No. No, we don't really need. Okay, we can, but in synthesis, what is the main aim? To synthesize, right? To make it shorter, shorter and sweeter, name. right? And Very good. transform, okay? like transform sometimes. Okay, thank you. Okay, sh- now my turn. Okay, so it rained today as well as yesterday or it rained yesterday as well as today. You can do a vice versa. Okay, so I just put this down, but later I'll put down that it rained yesterday as well as today. Okay, now let's move on. Uh, Shanice? Did she run away? Oh no, she's not. Oh no, Shanice is here. (laughs) Okay, Shanice, come. That is the boy, he kicked my sister. Let's go. Shanice? Shanice? I got it. Who is that? I got it. Okay, yes, come, let's go. You want to answer? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Come. That is the boy who kicked my sister. Very good. Okay, can you tell me why you don't need to put the he down there? Because that is the boy. We already know that he's a boy and so we don't need to put he. Okay, so the who is actually referring to the boy, correct? Yeah. Okay, so that is the boy who... Okay. So, boy already tells us that it's a he and That's not a right. she. Very good. Okay, anybody else has any different answers that you would like to share? Joshua, you want to say something? There, you raise Me. Your Me. Wait, 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 hang on, hang on, hang on. Ah. Hang on. I need to figure out who is calling me. Yes, Darsh, what is it? Me. Who is the media? Brandon, ah, yo. Okay, okay, okay. Two students only. Okay, br- wait, hang on. Dash, you wait. Brandon, come. What's up? That is my sister who the boy kicked yesterday. That is, that is the sister who the boy kicked yesterday? Wait, sorry. Yeah. Not like Singlish. Okay. Uh, wait, wait, sorry. I'm trying to understand where did the yesterday come from? Oh, I accidentally said that yesterday. 
<laughs> no, I think you're okay. confused with the question before this. <laughs> the answer and today one. It's a different question, please. <laughs> okay, let's. I have, let's, I let's have, have another I, question. Yes, Pranshu. Um, could it also be because that person thought that since it's kid, ed, it's a past tense, so he thought or she thought that it's a past tense, so it could be yesterday. yesterday. That's right. That, that's a valid point. Okay. That, that's very good. Okay. So basically, students remember, whenever we have a who, we have a what, you know, because we have the five W's and one H, right? Who, what, where, when, why, right? Okay. So all these things basically what we are referring to the subject before that. In this case, what is the subject before that? The boy. Okay, something quite easy and for us to understand. Okay, Can so that is the boy. Yes, Brennan. Who is talking? Say? Me, me. Oh, Dash. Yes. So can we say? Oh wait, I got confused a bit again. Me. Okay, so you remember right? Whenever this kind of question, okay, so that we are referring to the. Subject over here. So that is the boy who okay, kicked my sister. You're pointing, right? Can okay. We, um, so, can we say like mm. who kicked my sister? Is that boy? Can we say something like that? No. Okay, you know why? Let, let me explain first, okay? So I'm pointing to the boy. Huh? That is the boy. Okay? He kicked my sister. Alright? So if I want to make it into one sentence, right? That is the boy. Who kicked my sister? Very simple. Mm, right? You're still pointing to that boy because you're referring to him. Yes or no? Okay, so because you're pointing to him, you're referring to him, so that is the boy who kicked my sister. Okay, can simple. Mm. <laughs> yes, Pranchu? Uh, can we also say that he is the boy who kicked my sister? Okay, you cannot say he is the boy. Why? Because we have a directional term. Whenever we have a directional term, it tells us that that is the boy. So you have to be very specific about whether it's this boy, that boy, or, you know, it's not just he, but it is specifically that boy. You understand what I mean? Okay, okay. so we've got to be very specific about it. Okay, your questions are excellent. <coughs> Excuse okay. me, students. Your questions are very good. Okay, you can keep them coming, but remember, one student at a time, please, because we all need to be able to firstly respect each other, secondly, hear each other. Right? If all of you are talking, nobody's going to hear anything. Okay, now let me show you the answers. Huh? That is the boy who kicked my sister. Okay, now we have the fourth question, right? Okay, this one, remember, there are two answers, right? So, first we have Joshua, and then we have Ishan to volunteer, okay? Can we have Joshua first, dear? Although my mother can play the piano, she cannot play the violin. Okay, so although my mother, slow down, ah, although my mother can play, my mother cannot play the, violin. the piano, wait, hang on, ah. Is there a comma? Yeah. Okay, so although my yes. mother can play the piano, my mother cannot play the violin, is it? Oh, she, she, she cannot play. Cannot she cannot play the, play the violin. Excellent. Okay, thank also you. No one. Okay, wait, wait, hang on. Wait, hang on, hang on. Shh. Ishan, let's give, give the rightful person her chance first, okay? Ishan, come. Wait, hang on. After Ishan tries, okay? Ishan? Ishan! Although my mother cannot play the violin, my mother can play the piano. Wait, hang on. I don't know. My mother cannot play the violin. Sorry, my mother can play the piano, is it? Yeah. Or she. Ah, okay, she. All right. Very good. Ah, all of you are picking up. I don't know why this rounded thing keeps coming up. Okay. She can play the piano. Okay. So, wait. Anyone else has a different answer? Anyone else? Okay, wait, hang on. Uh. Before I explain, right? Okay, uh, Juby, you want to share with me your answer? Juby, you said something. You wanted to say something, right? Yep. Juby. Nothing to say? Okay, Pari? Uh, Pari, yep. You want to say something? Um, is it the, I think the, the uh, after the order, the comma should come. So, although, comma, my mother can play the violin. Yes. Okay, that is one alternative. Okay, anybody else? I said, thank you, sweetie. Uh, Darsh, wait, hang on. Ah. Okay, Darsh, what's up? Like, although my mother can, uh, cannot, mm. cannot play the piano, she can play the violin. Although my mother cannot play the piano, 
play the violin. Wait, wait, wait. Sorry. Although my mother cannot play the violin. But I'm trying to say like, although my mother cannot play the piano, but why? She can play. So sorry. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. So explain to me why is it that that way, dear? Because like you, um, as it is, we can like. Wait, uh, wait, wait, hang on. Sorry, Dash. Let me unmute you. So as it is, what you can what? Oops, sorry. Dash. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So like you know, you can switch the names. Uh, um, like. You can switch the places of the names and all this. So I was just thinking, okay. you cannot okay, just no, no, no. Okay, okay. Shh, okay, be careful. Because what you're switching is you're switching the question. Right? Because you're saying that she cannot play the piano. But over here, it says that she can. So the moment you're doing that is wrong really there because you cannot switch the question. Okay, you must take note that you can't switch the question, okay? So just to clarify what you all were saying just now, okay? Although it's a beginning of a sentence. So we don't ever, okay, put a comma after the although. It's very awkward and it's grammatically wrong, actually. So it's although my mother okay, can play the piano, all of you were right in saying that it is she because we do not need to re repeat the, uh, the subject again, right? She cannot play the violin. Or you can say, although my mother cannot play the violin, right? She can play the piano. Okay, so you realize that for my answers, I've given you both options. You can pick either one. Okay, and students, now it's 2.50. Someone's asking me what time we will actually end, right? I think probably about 3.15. I don't think it will go up to 3.30. Okay, now the last question for this before we take a short break. Okay, Parika, shall we go through the answers now, dear? Uh, this is the old lady whose grandchild was hurt. Thank you, very good, because we all know that whose is the joining, right? So this is the... Old lady whose, we don't have to repeat the her, right? Grandchild was hurt. Very good. Anybody else has different answers? No, right? I think this should be the only way, right? Okay, Pranchu, webcam. Thank you. Okay, so this is the lady whose grandchild was hurt. Okay, all of you okay with synthesis so far? Yes, if you're okay, thumbs up, please. Very good. Okay, now we can go for a short break. I've given you three minutes, so it's actually 2.49 now. We can come back at 2.52. Okay, and then uh, we could chit-chat if you want. If you want. Who wants to chit-chat with me? You can put up your hand. <laughs> okay, for those of you who want to chit-chat, you can stay and chit-chat. Okay, the rest of you who do not... Uh, Want to go for your break? We'll come back in three minutes, okay? Teacher, but I can't message you anyone. I know because, because it's... I, I know I only want you to talk to me. Why? Oh, Even though... <laughs> hey, just keep quiet. All, all turn oh, off your, your webcams. You know? We can all chat, but all turn off your webcams, please. Um, actually, um, no, actually, like. <laughs> Okay, what was that? Whoa! Hi. Hi. Yeah, I got daddy's one a little bit. Daddy, I got your nola a little bit. Eh? Oh, for those of you who... Okay, I'm going to mute. Uh. If y'all want to talk, y'all talk to me on the chat group, okay? Because I keep hearing outside noises. Y'all are talking to other people. I feel so lonely. Okay, come, let's come back. Huh. Oh, someone asked me. Wait, hang on, hang on. I just read. If there are if there are more than five students, why not? As in for the upper secondary later, if you want to. Do you wish that there was such a thing called co? I think to be honest, this COVID nineteen issue, it has made all of us realize that, I mean, what is important and what is a necessity versus what is a want, right? Because when I'm staying at home now, and um, I mean, with all seriousness, right? In all seriousness, I feel that. It has given us a lot of time with our family, something that um, during normal time before COVID, we never had the opportunity, simply because all of us were very busy with work and school, right? So we sit down, we think about what's important. We spend so much of time together, now we can just kill each other, right? But I think all of us, nobody's complaining about that, right? You realise that everybody complains about quality of home-based learning, you know, you realise that everybody complains about... Um, not being able to go out and do things, but we've nobody has complained about too much time spent with the family. 
right? And I think it's something all of us need. It. It's like a reset button. You know, people are saying it's like a reset button, right? You press it and the whole world resets because I think our priorities were all wrong, simply put, right? And it's a very good way, I think, even though it's killing a lot of people, you know, the virus is just so detrimental, right? But I think it's making us think about what is truly important in life. I don't know about you. What What are you think? What are you saying? Can you all hear me? Can you all hear me? Can you hear me, right? Who can, who can hear me? <laughs> okay, I started panicking. I thought I was talking so much and nobody could hear me. <laughs> it's like me pouring my heart out and nobody can hear. I'm so sad. Okay, but anyway. Yeah, I think that's just my thoughts, basically. Yeah, yeah, yes. I muted you because, you know, see, what was happening was a lot of you were talking, right? And you were not talking to each other. You were talking in the background. So what is happening is that there was a lot of chatter in the background and it overlapped. So it got very noisy and the feedback was quite heavy. So I didn't want everybody else to be affected, you see. All webcams off, please. Webcams off. Thank you. Webcams off. Okay, now let's go on to the composition. Okay, uh, any other questions? Basically, just to chill out with that. Why are you talking? I'm trying to see why you are talking. Okay, I think that's it, right? Do I feel bored at home? No, I've got a lot of work to do. I've got a lot of work to do. It's really not funny. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. We, we finish our allocated task for today first, then we talk. Okay, because I still have composition and I know many of you um want to do better for composition, right? So we finish the composition, then we have chit chat. Okay, we have three minutes of chit chat time. Okay, because I have a next class later. Okay, very good. Wait, uh, hang on. Uh. Okay, now basically this is the topic, right? All of you should be very good at coming up with stories because I am sure that you have been mischievous before. Right? So an act of mischief. Okay. Oopsie, sorry. Okay, basically, hang on. Ah, okay. So an act of mischief, right? So we plan out. Okay, so what was the act of mischief? Okay, was anyone hurt? And what happened in the end? Okay, so I'll be asking students, okay, to volunteer out your storyline, okay? And what ideas you have. You realize that over here, let me show you what I have, okay? So this is the planning sheet, right? We have introduction, writing, rising action, climax, falling action, conclusion. Okay, so... I would like you to volunteer, okay, in the chat group, please, okay, because there's so many ideas that I want to just pick out a couple, right, and then uh, I'll put it down, okay, so no, 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 I won't be asking all of you individually, but if you have any ideas, please chat with me, I can see, okay, and I'll put these ideas down, okay, so can someone volunteer for me a five W's and one H, so basically, who, where, who is involved, where, when, why, and what. Right, so do you want to share with me some of your ideas? Right, what can you base this story on? Look at this, uh, someone carrying some stuff and then obviously there's like... Okay, this is a very old trick basically, right? You put the pail on top of the door and then someone open the door. Push! Ha! Oops. But yes, I know. I've never actually tried it. I think it's because, right, firstly, my door was too slim. Secondly, I wasn't tall enough to reach the door when, when I was younger. And thirdly, I think everybody would know that it's me. So, <laughs> I never did this. But yeah, any of you actually tried it out? Okay, so give me your ideas. Don't tell me who, what, when, where. Okay, I know who, what, when, where, but tell me. So, who is involved? Maybe you can say, I. You can say your brother, right? Maybe. Okay, where at home? When? Doing what? Holidays. Right, school holidays. Then you have all the time in the world to think about what kind of acts you want to do, right? If not, this school time, you have the time to breathe. Huh? Don't have, right? Okay, why? Because you're feeling what? Bored, okay? You can say school also can, no problem. Okay, James, Mrs. Sang, okay, I see what you're saying. Okay, and what happened? Can anyone just briefly tell me what happened? Who <laughs> oh, is drinking water? <laughs> That's quite funny. <laughs> okay, now what happened? Maybe if someone put um, a bucket of water on top of the door maybe. Correct, okay. Uh, okay, so we're going to plan first. I've already got the sample essay for you. Okay, so we're going to plan because I want to hear your ideas and then I'll show you the sample essay later. Okay, so that's the rising action. Basically, what happened, right? You can say what you're feeling. Come. You sneaked out of the bedroom. Is that part of the story? Okay, so this is doing... Okay, so students, you must decide whether this is at home or in school. Do you want it at home or in school? 
Okay, so if it's at home, there'll be no recess, right? Because it's holiday, correct or not? Okay, so you were feeling bored and then you saw a bucket of water and then a mischievous idea hit you, right? So when you saw that mischievous idea, what happened? When you, when you saw that mischievous idea, when you saw that bucket, what happened? Okay, you got an idea. Okay, to fill it up. And to put it on the door to trap your brother, for example. Okay, okay, you can say April Fool's Day also, but April Fool's Day would have to be in school, right? Or you can even put it at home also after you got home from school. That's fine. Okay, now, climax, what happened? Okay, so brother was innocently, maybe, right? Okay, brother was innocently, what? Walking into the room. Okay, and then what happened? Did the bucket of water fall on him or did something, there was a twist? You can say, for example, right, okay, instead of brother walking into the room and he got, he, uh, he got splashed by the water, you can say maybe instead of brother walking in, mother decided to go into the room, right? Okay, you can also put it down as mother decided to go into the room to tidy it up, right? Into the room, maybe to tidy it up. And then what happens? Of course, the habisa, right? The bucket of water, what? Splashes onto her, right? Bucket of water splashes onto her. So when that happens, what happens? Falling in. Falling in, sorry? No, it's falling action. Okay, so the bucket of water splashes onto her and then, obviously, what's going to happen? Who? I get into trouble, right? Because I'm the one who set it up, right? Into trouble. Something like that. Okay, so this is a very typical storyline, right, students? Okay, we have the story mountain, right? All of you are familiar with that, I'm sure. Okay, so now let's read through something that I've gotten. Okay, students, more of my students have actually done it. Okay, so I'd like to go through it with you. Okay, now, shall we have people read it? Do you want to read it or shall I read it? Anybody wants to read it, can raise your hand. Oh, wow. Okay, so we will go paragraph by paragraph, okay, based on whoever has raised their hands first. Franchu, Ishan. Okay, anybody else wants to read? Hang on, ah. Uh. I need to go back there. Okay, Hari. Oh, I've, I've not seen this name before. Wow, this is quite long. Okay, you read from here to here, okay? Then we have another student reading from here to here. Uh, Juby. Okay, and we have one more conclusion. Robin. Okay, later don't worry, if we, if students, we will have more lessons in future. Okay, you don't get a chance to read now, don't worry. We can read next week, so okay, I won't forget. Okay, wait, just now I was supposed to ask Robin and Brennan. Right, something. See, it's your already. You also cannot remember, hello. Okay, come, let's go and read through. Okay, uh, I will give individual people just 10 quick seconds to just quickly look through it. Okay, and then... Pranshu, are we ready? Let's go. I am bored, I thought to myself. It was the March school holidays and I had just watched my favourite cartoon called The Adventures of Oliver. In that episode, the main character played a trick on his arc enemy by planting a bu bucket of water on top of the door. Later, when his arc opened, Enemy opened the door. The bucket of water fell, drenching him from head to toe. Just as I was recalling the cartoon, I thought it was a good idea to play the same prank on my sister. Thank you, Franchu. Okay, you realize, students, that I've marked out the who, what, when, where, why, right? Okay, basically, who is involved? Me, my sister. Right, what was it about? He was watching a TV program. You know, he got some inspiration from a TV program and he decided to carry it out, right? Why did he do it? Because he thought it was a good idea to being lame, right? He thought it was a good idea to play the prank on his sister. Okay, when did this happen? During the March school holidays. Okay, so this actually gives us the setting of the story. Okay, now, second paragraph. Ishan? Hmm? Ishan? 
Wait up. Okay. Getting the bucket of water was the easy part. The tricky part was placing the bucket of water on top of her bedroom mm. door. With the help of a chair, mm. I placed the bucket of water on top of the door that was left ajar. Thank you, dear. Okay, so basically we all know the rising action of a story, right, is to help make the suspense there, create the suspense for our readers. Okay, so when that happens, right, you realise that what, there is something easy to do, but there is something tricky that needs to be done, which is what, putting the water bucket on top of a door, right? Like I mentioned to you, I thought of it before, I could never do it because, well, I was short and my chairs weren't so tall, I think, I mean, when I was small, I was smaller, right? Okay, so with the help of a chair, I placed the bucket of water on top of the door that was left ajar. So this is where you know that, you know what, I've succeeded in going to carry out my plan. Ajar means open. Okay, students, now your climax. Hurry. Wait, uh, okay. After that, I waited patiently for my sister to walk right into my trap. I hid under the desk and smiled to myself as I thought of the bucket of water falling on her at, at any moment. Thank you. Okay, so basically this is when the exciting part of the story is going to happen, right? Waited patiently, okay, to walk into my trap means what? She's going to fall for it, right? Hid under her desk, smiled to myself, okay, as you know. So naughty, no, this boy, right? Just when, when he thinks of his sister getting drenched, he feels so happy. Hi, you. Correct, not. Okay, then we have our falling action. Okay, first we have um, Colin, right? Is this Colin? Engulf me, that's right. Thank you very much. Okay, now let me just go through this part first, okay, before to be read. Okay, so suddenly I hear my mother, my mom called Jane. I'm going to clean your room now. Oh no, what does this mean? Okay, students, I know all of you are always wondering about good phrases, right? Panic engulf me means panic overcame, overcame me, basically. Uh, Matesh, if you can't hear me, right, adjust your volume, can? Okay, plug out your earpiece, plug it in again. Okay, all right. Or if not, later on when we end the recording, right, you can, we will actually upload it onto our website. You can actually go back and just play this portion again. Okay, now, panic ungulf me means what I was filled with panic. Okay, if my mother opened the door, she'll be the one getting drenched. She'll be the one getting wet. And drenched is not just wet, you know, drenched is soaking wet. It's raining now. I don't know about your side, but it's super heavy. Okay, I started to get edgy. It means I started to feel very nervous, very anxious, right? I didn't know what to expect. Okay, deep down in my heart. Oops, sorry, Juby. I'm sorry. I always have this habit. I'm sorry. Juby. Deep down in my heart, I knew that I would get into so much trouble if that were to happen. I tried to stop my mother, but it was too late. The bucket of water toppled over her. Splash. Ouch, my mother cried as the bucket hit her. Okay, thank you. So basically, you're talking about what? How you knew you were going to get into trouble, right? Deep down in my heart, I knew that I would get into so much trouble if that were to happen, if mother finds out that it's me, right? Tried to stop my mother, it was too late. The bucket of water toppled over her. Splash! Ouch! My mother cried as the bucket hit her. So you have some dialogue over there, right? To actually make it a little bit more interesting. Okay, now, what happens? Robin, let's go. Did I unmute you? Okay. Okay. Robin? Hmm? Robin? Okay, I can't hear, I can't unmute you, sweetheart. Robin. Okay, anyone else wants to read? Because I can't hear Robin. Okay, anyone else who hasn't read? Okay, I think just now I was supposed to give Brennan a chance, right? Brennan? Yes. 
Mm, you want to read this for me? Which one? There, this page. Okay. Mm. Mother, are you alright? I heard my sister ask. Oh no, I had thought, I have not thought of the falling bucket. Fortunately, my mother was alright, knowing immediately who was responsible mm -hmm. for the act of mischievous mischief. She scolded me and made me clean up the mess. I apologized to her and promised never to play another trick like that again. Okay, thank you. Alright, so basically you your sister obviously has to be the, 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 the salvager of the situation, right? Okay, now. Sorry, I was just reading what you all were saying. Can you all please comment on things that are relevant for now? Okay, mother, are you alright? I heard sister ask. Oh no, I had not thought about the falling bu bucket. Fortunately, my mother was alright, right? She was fine, knowing immediately who was responsible for the act of mischief, right? She obviously scolded me, right? And made me clean up the mess. So, always at the end of the story, students, write a lesson learned or a value you've gained, right? Okay? I apologize to her and promise never to play another trick like that again. Okay, a very short, sweet, simple story, right? This will get you out of 20, probably a 14 or 15, right? We are aiming for better than 15. So I'm not going to give you the super, super good ones because I want to move all of you towards the 14, 15 range. Okay, students? Now, okay, if you have anything to chat with me, chat with me in the chat group, okay? Oh, it's 3.10. Someone just not asked me what time you end, right? It's okay, lah. I'm, I'm, I'm on time. Okay, now, I want to actually highlight this to you, okay? Keep smiling. It makes people wonder what you're up to. Actually, that's what happens to me. So, I'm always smiling, right? You realise that I'm always smiling and laughing. So, people are always thinking, Hi, right, teacher Indra. Oh, it's smiling. Don't know what she's thinking. Uh -huh. <laughs> but it's good to always smile because, number one, um, it puts you in a better mood. And I haven't seen anyone who is unhappy with me because I smile. Because I think, yeah, all of you have beautiful smiles. So, be happy during this period of time, you know. Be happy, be cheerful. Okay, and you will spread that cheer and that happiness to everybody around you. Okay, students, if you are... Okay, wait, let me give you my number. I realise that I have not written my number over here. Okay, if you want to drop me a text, I know all of you got handphones, right? Okay, if you want to drop me a text, this is my number. I forgot to include it here, but this is my number. Or you can also email me at indra888tuitioncreation.com. Okay, you can actually email me as well if you would like, okay, to be in touch. I'm going to read through your chat, okay? If not, students, next week I'll see you on Friday back again at May not be four thirty. Maybe we want to do it at four. We look out for the look out for the the timing on our website. Okay, but it will definitely not be so early today. The reason why for it being early is because it's Labor Day. You know, it's a public holiday, so we can all have things earlier. But school holidays maybe not. Okay, enjoy your awesome break after Monday, which is from Tuesday onwards, right? Okay, enjoy your awesome break. Relax. You know, don't stare at the screen so much, except to watch eighty eight, of course. Okay, and I will see you next week. Okay, take care, students. See you.